Hey guys, it's Chris the Copier IT Guy back again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up scan via SMTP or scan to email. So, if you saw our previous episodes, we've been working with a Kyocera printer copier. So one of the first things first is you want to open up your browser like I did and type in the IP address if you know what it is. If you don't, you can always go over to the machine and print out either a status page or a um, configuration page, which should show you some information about the machine, model number, IP address, all that stuff. And if you don't know how to find it, I'm sure a quick Google search will be able to tell you. So in this particular machine, we have to log in with admin password and username. If you need to know what that is on this certain machine, I can tell you as well. Just leave a comment down below. And I always like to stress that I am available for um, remote service if you do need my help setting up these things. So yeah, we'll go down here, function settings, email. And here is where we want to enter in our email settings. Here it says SMTP. So in this video, we're going to be using Gmail because it's safe and easy. So your basic Gmail setup would be smtp.gmail.com. And the port number we're gonna to wanna to use is 587. I usually change the SMTP server timeout to 20 seconds. And then here, we're gonna to have to enter in where it says authentication protocol. And a lot of machines are kind of the same, certain setup. So we'll go to on authentication as other and then we're going to need a username and password. You can either use your Gmail settings if you already have a Gmail email address. Type in your whole email address here and password. But this video we're going to create one for this machine. So let's go to Gmail. So we'll click here. So all right. We're gonna have to create an account. See, I usually go to for myself because, you know, I'm not sure what the for business one does, but we just need a, you know, example here. So we'll say copier scans username, copier scanner test, and password can be whatever you want to make it. Just make it something you can um, remember. All right, phone number, we're not gonna use a phone number. Okay, so you don't have to use a phone number or recovery email address, but um, yeah, you can enter those in if you feel like or Google won't let you pass this, that stage. So let's see, more blah, blah, blah. No, we don't need any of this because we're just using this as a test. Okay, guys. So after we've created our email and come back to our web browser, to where we were entering the information on the machine, we want to enter in our email address and the password. Oh, and also be sure to change your SMTP security. Okay. Yes, make, make sure you change your SMTP security accordingly to the port you use. So in this case, we'll use star TLS. So, okay, let's go to the map. All right, back to our email settings. And here's all of our stuff. And now we can hit the test button to make sure all of our settings we entered in here are correct. Okay, so that worked. Yeah, guys, and if um, you do get any error codes, make sure you go to your network settings, TCP IP, and make sure you have your DNS filled in here. If you don't have the DNS server filled in, 
the machine definitely will not connect to SMTP. So yeah, I hope you found this informational and I was able to help you a bit. And always remember, I am available for remote service if you do need my help. And I just want to say thanks for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.